People with hip issues often struggle with squatting. If you want to be able to use a toilet or relax on a couch, you need to be able to squat. Since squatting is an essential part of daily life for most of us, squats are part of my hip rehab programs. Training the squat is also useful for rehabbing hips, knees, and low back issues. People with hip issues often struggle with squat depth. Either they can't get their butts low enough or getting into a deep squat is really uncomfortable. If depth is an issue, then we begin the rehab program with a supported squat. If you don't have access to a TRX or some other type of suspension trainer, find something sturdy like the side of a squat rack or a door frame. Start by finding a comfortable squat stance. For most people, feet will be about shoulder width apart. Toes can be straightforward or slightly turned out. When you're in your stance, be balanced. What I mean by balanced is I don't want you up on the toes so high that you're coming forward and I don't want you rocked back on the heels so far that you're falling backwards. So you're gonna be balanced somewhere over the midfoot. I want you to keep a proud chest. You can grab a hold of your support. And from here, you're gonna drop your hips down. Using the assistance of the support, you should be able to get a little bit lower. If you find a sticky spot and you feel like you can't get any lower, use the support to take a little bit of the load off of the hips and try driving the knees out and see if you can sink down a little bit lower. With some experimentation and a little bit of practice, eventually you will find a new depth that's relatively comfortable. Once you find that new depth, practice it. With some practice over time, you can build some strength, some endurance, and some confidence while moving through this new range of motion. Make sure to give your body time to acclimate to the new depth before you push it too far. Once you've achieved the depth that you want and you feel comfortable in this deep position, try and challenge yourself by removing the support. See if you can do some reps at the new depth without grabbing a hold of anything. Then eventually add some weight. With consistent practice over time, you should be able to keep making small gains that eventually add up to a huge increase in range of motion, making it easier to get on and off the toilet and the couch.